The hardest part of this is understanding the terms. So non-isomorphic unlabeled basically means we don't need to label our vertices A, B, C, etc. A tree basically is a connected graph with no cycles. Connected means that we can walk between all the vertices and no cycles means we can't end up back where we started. So as there are six vertices, we know that there are going to be five edges there's always one less edge than there are vertices so the first way we could arrange this is one vertex could have five edges like that that's the first way the second way we could have that one vertex has four edges and then one of the other vertices has an extra edge here that's number two the third way we can arrange is that two vertices have three edges so there's the first one with three edges and there's the second one the fourth way we could arrange is that one vertex has three edges and then another vertex has two and another one has two like that. The fifth way we can arrange it is again one vertex has three edges and two different other ones have two edges like that. Note these are different, they're not isomorphic. And finally, the sixth way is basically just the line, one, two, three, four, five, where four vertices have two edges and one has, uh, two have one edge. So the total number of different non-isomorphic unlabeled trees with six vertices is answer C, six. Incidentally, the answer for five vertices is three and the answer for seven vertices is 11. Maybe we're just remembering those in case they come up in an exam.